It's time to make our website look great on all devices with responsive design. When we're styling by default, we're on this base breakpoint, but we can switch to smaller breakpoints. We could even customize the breakpoints over here. But for most use cases, I like using the default ones. So far, we've created these cards and we've styled them on our base breakpoint. But as we get down to lower breakpoints, things aren't looking good and we may want to change the design. Once I'm happy with the way it looks on desktop, I'm gonna go down to a smaller breakpoint. These are starting to get a little bit too squished. So only when they get to this breakpoint do I want them to start stacking. Notice that these turn to orange, meaning that their styles come from somewhere else. If I go to my base breakpoint, here's where they're defined and here is where they're inherited. But I wanna change this. So I'm gonna change the arrow and go to column. Now we can see that this is blue, meaning I'm controlling the design right here. And if I go back up to my base breakpoint, we'll see that it's in a row, not a column. The way styles work is that they cascade down, meaning that they'll affect the current breakpoint and anything below it, and they won't affect anything above it. So this will allow us to comfortably change anything on this breakpoint and not worry about it messing up what we already did on desktop. And the style doesn't need to already have been defined. So in this case, we change something that was already defined. We can just go down to mobile and say, hey, maybe on mobile, I want to have a dark background. So I'm gonna go to backgrounds and set this to be dark. And if I go to any higher breakpoint than this, I'm not gonna see that background at all. It only shows up on the breakpoint I set it on and anything smaller than that if it exists. Only the styles are affected by the different breakpoints. So for example, you can change different settings or the different components, and it doesn't matter what breakpoint you're on, those are gonna apply universally. Styles are the only thing impacted by breakpoints. And that's your high level overview on breakpoints within Web Studio. So you can make your website look great on all devices.